open OBS, install the latest update, go to the output settings, set output mode to advanced and check Twitch VOD track. Then select the track you want to use and set up your audio routing. And you're done. This video is brought to you by Restream. Click the link in the video description below to learn how Restream can help you with your live streaming needs. Hey there, it's me Greeny for Greenbox and you might have heard it, there is somewhat of a controversy going on about music on Twitch, especially in the VODs on Twitch. So Twitch and OBS, they teamed up and they created a feature which allows you to stream music to your live stream, however not to your VODs. And in this quick tip, I want to show you how you can set up your OBS to do exactly that step by step. First of all, we need to make sure that we have the latest version of OBS running on our system. To check that, you can go to help and in help, check for updates. And if there is an update available, you will be able to install it. Once you're on the latest version of OBS, let's open the settings. In the settings, go to the output tab. In the output tab, you change the output mode from simple to advanced. And in here, you will see Twitch VOD track. You need to enable this track and what that setting is doing, OBS is sending out two different audio streams to Twitch. One stream will be used for your live stream, that can be the stream with your music in, and the second stream will be used for your VODs. So that stream should not have any music. First of all, your audio setup might be different from mine. I have a rather advanced audio setup, but I will try to guide you through my setup as good as possible. So we are still in the streaming section of the output settings and the VOD track currently is set to track two. However, with my specific setup, this is not going to work. So I'm going to change it to track six. The reason why I need to change it to track six is I already use track two for something else. So once we set up this, we can apply the settings. Next up, we need to go into our audio routing settings. To do that, we simply do a right click on our audio mixer and choose advanced audio properties. So those are my audio inputs. I'm just going to explain you what they do. The first one should be pretty obvious. This is my webcam, which also sends audio, but I don't use that, but it's still in here. The second one, this is my microphone, which is on a separate track. Then next we have our system audio. This would be my gaming audio or Discord. And lastly, there's a separate input on my OBS for music. So what I did here is uh, I route all those free inputs, which I really need because we can forget about the camera. I don't use that audio. I route all of those into track number one. This is what you will hear on my live streams. It's the full package. However, for my edits on YouTube, I also only route my microphone into track two to higher or lower the volume in case I messed something up. Then I do the same thing with the system audio. And lastly, I send the music to a separate track as well. So what we now need to do if you want to send a stream to our Twitch VODs, which do not include music, is we basically need to do the same thing we used to do in our first track, the one which is going live, minus the music. So let's do this. I chose track six to be my VOD track. So let's enable my microphone and my system audio. If I would check this box, I would also have the music in my VODs, but we don't want to have that. So we do not check the music. Once we did that, we can simply close and we are ready to stream on Twitch, knowingly that we won't have any music in our VODs. One thing I want to point out, in case you do not see the Twitch VOD track in the settings, make sure your stream service is set to Twitch. If we set this to YouTube or anything else, the Twitch track will not be visible. So let's go back and change it back to Twitch and there is a Twitch VOD track. So this really is a feature only for Twitch at the moment. Maybe other services like YouTube will do something similar, but at this point in time, it's only Twitch. All right, I hope this video helped you. In case it did, please leave a like and let me know in the comment section below. Once more, if you want to check out Restream and see how Restream can help you with your live streaming needs, click the link in the video description below. If you sign up for a Restream account using that link in the video description below, you will get a $10 Restream credit. And I will see you in one of the next videos, which are displayed here on the end card right now. All right, thanks for watching. I am Greeny, this is Greenbox. 
It was a pleasure. Bye.